What is going on you lot? Midi here and well today's video is going to be about how I normally find survivors really early into the game. I think a lot of you now have probably seen a lot of videos where I'm playing demon and the very first thing I do as soon as I go into the game is I will try and find the survivors as quickly as possible. There's kind of a little bit of a method to it. Now if we take the map from the gameplay that I'm actually going to show you as soon as I've spawned in I've gone right center of the map. This is RNG by the way guys you gotta remember that sometimes you're gonna get lucky with this sometimes you're not gonna get lucky with this it depends on the map as well so we've spawned bang on center of the map we've got the very north side you've got flight 66 where they could possibly spawn and then you've got the very bottom which is terminal station survivors will not spawn at either the pages which you can see on the map blue icon or the daggers at the bottom so really if the dagger icon wasn't at the bottom I'd probably go terminal because I normally go for the furthest place away from where I am but seeing as that icon's not there they're gonna be either the Greenwich Village or they're gonna be flight 66 you're gonna have a variety of maps like this the furthest location from you is more or less where they're going to be 80 percent of the time and then you can kind of use the daggers and the pages icons to kind of you know pinpoint exactly where they could be they're not going to be anywhere demonic treehouse or fisher village or even pain manor is too close to where i've actually spawned so the location is going to be at flight 66 let's jump into a game show you why catching the survivors early on is the best way you're going to win the game and uh let's go they fly at 666 is going to be my prediction on where they are. They've got to be up there anyway. That's like a kind of easy find for the survivors early on. We're going to be using mini ashes, by the way. I've always used them with Necromancer. With Puppeteer, I always use the hand. They should be up here. I have been kind of thinking, like, what is the best demon for, like, the early game? And I think all of them are honestly the same. One of the worst things is being a survivor is being caught early on. It, you're just in trouble hoping. I'm gonna pop the red round here. I'm just trying to get to level three. Uh, yep, all up here. So who are we actually dealing with? We've got Warrior Ash, a Support Ash, a Scotty, and an Amanda. Two Warriors, one Hunter, one Support. It's the standard, isn't it? Some traps here. Not even level three yet, so I can't even throw down basic balls. Oh, now I am. Trap this entire area out. Got a little Piper in here. It's not the uh, most sneakiest spots, but they're going to come over there and walk into about eight traps. Here on them, nice. And I'm just one of these mobs. This is the best when like, there's so many traps in a small space. Oh, I love it when they do this. Uses the ability and down already. Like that's what I'm saying. Insane damage here. I don't want to die. I think Necros could be the best demon for the early game, just because if they don't get rid of that Piper, you're doing like what? Almost 200 damage per light attack. No survivor is coming out of that. Might be able to reach it with this. Yes, nice. Let's get some points to do it. Right, let's possess her. Kind of want him to bleed out. Gonna be the plan here. Remember though, like my orbs are quite low at the minute. I need to get some hits on him just to stay this for a sec. Come on. Oh, if, I, if she had a few more bullets. Just That's why I never normally do early possession. Unless I'm desperate and like, you know, he just died there as well. Yeah, early possession is normally all I use if they're like bleeding out and, you know, I'm trying to buy time for them to actually die. You got up so many points. Already level nine. We've almost got boss three minutes in. He's back up again. Let's get the Scotty. Oh, Scotty's won it. Bye, Scotty. I mean, they've got to get rid of this Piper again. I think they've realised that they've just got to get out of here. If you're a survivor, and this is happening to you, get a car. Just leave. Like, just get out of there. More time you spend it here, more time I'm going to be farming XP off you. Take level 10, having a boss already. Try and get enough points. Oh, she's going for the revive. Nah, no, ain't going to be able to add, like, nothing there to actually do anything. Normally what I like using. Oh, let's see if they can handle the boss here. <laughs> this early into the game. Oh my god. Right, so the Scotty's bleeding out. He's almost dead. I think she's going to get him in time. Put some more points into the boss. Spawn about 80 mobs. I'm really liking this resurrection build. If you guys see my previous video about this build. Like, even good hunters and stuff. They can't keep up with the amount of mobs you're spawning in. Hey, how much stamina has this guy got? I swear... This Ash, Civil Ash, has got such high stamina. Almost like a hunter. 
I like to do. As soon as they stop sprinting, you know they're not going to be able to dodge. Just know that when you grab them, though, their stamina's going to go back up. Alright, he's almost gone down. I'm just going to keep zoning them out. I'm in XP. Hunters I normally leave to last when he's dead. Okay. The Amanda doing. She's quite low on HP. Just going to do the classic grab. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Sometimes I lose track of like how many orbs I've got. I want a good place to put him, but I'm gonna throw him down as quickly as I can. I mean, I don't know where the Warrior Ash is. He's a uh, solo, like every single Warrior Ash player. And they're actually making a getaway. She just got him up as well. You know what I mean, though, with this early pressure. Already level 14. Okay. What are they doing? Well, they're carrying Scotty's soul, so they're going to an auto room. They're just going to loot up. I never like possessing the cars. It just feels like such a waste. Oh, there's a map piece. No, they're not going for that. Well, maybe they are. Okay. Run down some mobs and then possess the Amanda. So there's even more pressure for them. Is he actually getting in the car? Oh, no. I run me over, bro. Try and wreck that car. You should be able to wait. Am I doing really damage to that? I think I am. Or well, maybe you can only do damage to it with the AIs. I know that you can shoot the cars. That's damage to them. But hitting them doesn't seem to do nothing. Ash has gone down again. And I don't really know their plan here. I'm just sort of wasting. Like, the Warrior Ash has actually come around now. She actually figured out that the team is getting absolutely bolted. Don't have many orbs though. Just need to sustain the orbs. Uh, we've always got time for crates. You lot know that. I've noticed that if you do follow roads, they always have orbs just sitting there. If there are any roads nearby. You can't find any orbs in the fields. Normally just try and find the road. The main road, that is. Okay. They've got all the map pieces done. But to be fair to them, for having extreme early pressure like that and to get them all back into the game again it's really good although i'm almost level 20 so yeah good luck to them now right the scotty he's gonna get poked down i love these basic mobs i've actually started using the basic mobs a lot more necromancer than the elites the elites are good a bit tanky but i just i just like the basic units man Got such a good long reach poke. Uh, is he ser Are you serious? Is he? Oh yeah, that's it, Scotty. That's it. Pay your little flashlight at me. Oh, you're funny, man. You want to be? You want to play funny games? All right. The audacity, this guy, to get clapped and then break my balance bar once and start flicking your flashlight like that. Uh, I don't think so, mate. Ah, uh, now you just make me want to throw the boss down. All right, let's go get this, Scotty. Is he wants to be a little bit funny? The flashlight man. Where are you? Yeah, come on. Warriors only get two dodges. Oh, you're down. Oh, where's the flashlight now? No flashlight. Damn. Okay, we're going to ignore the Amanda. I'm not going to chase her about. I want these two to actually bleed out. That's what I normally do with hunters. I will just focus other targets that, you know, I'm going to be doing a lot more damage with. Even though this support Ash is super annoying. Alright, one more hit. There we go. I feel like he just gave up there. He was like, yeah, we're out. Oh, where's this Amanda? She's definitely going to go for the revive, isn't she? We've got just enough orbs here to probably kill her. Alright, she is one hit here. We land this one hit. Was she going to dodge for it? Nope. That's what happens. You mess, you mess up one of them dodges with no HP. You're out. And the Warrior Ash is by himself. If he starts a point here, yeah, I don't know, you just can't. Maybe you can start the points as like a Warrior Ash if I've not had a, such an early, you know, XP farm off of you. But to do it when your whole team's dead and I'm like level 20 plus, I don't know. It depends if he's actually going to do this. You might just think he can carry the entire team here. Normally, if the demon's quite low level, yeah, you can normally solo them, but yeah, not at this level, mate. 
Okay. They're literally all dead here, so it's just a 1v1 on the ash. Yeah, he ain't gonna be able to handle this. Pipe is going down. I'm gonna throw all my mobs here. Don't even need the boss. I jump through him. Even though he gets his fear reduction down a little bit. Oh, here comes the box. Ah, oh, he's not going for point, I guess. Oh my god, the damage though. It's, it's literally only the cutscenes that can save him here. I'm trying to like tie my abilities there we go out early game pressure like you see from all my demon games this wins every single game i play god damn